Welcome to episode 2 of New Phone Who This. I'm Marcus Bronzy and today we're checking out the Samsung Note 10 Plus. And I have the perfect person in mind to test this with. Julia Hardy is a gaming journalist, presenter of Radio 1's gaming show, the BAFTA Games Awards and hosts some of the largest esports events in the world. And she's invited us to an event that she's covering. The Note 10 Plus is Samsung's latest phablet. It has a quad camera setup including widescreen and low light settings, which you can control with the upgraded S Pen just by swiping in the air. The S Pen can also take notes, turn your scribbles into text or be customised for other functions. What better way to obviously like show off like a lot of the features of the phones than to kind of bring you to an event that I'm covering, which is Steve McNeil, who you might know from Darwin's Go Bit, and it's the wait, let me get this right, it's the video game game show show. Steve, baby, do you want to explain a little bit of like how it works, like because yeah. obviously people haven't seen it. Sure. So, um, so when the audience come in, they log in on their phones and they pick whether they're on the blue team or the red team, and then we have guests and comedians and things on stage playing games. You're going to play tonight, I believe. Uh, Julia, press start, please. <laughs> Also, we beam games to everyone's phones. The entire audience will play games against each other as well and score points and eventually hope you win the show. The Note 10 Plus's 6.8 inch AMOLED display is great for running two apps at the same time using Samsung's split screen. And if you need even more screen space, its Dex Docs compatibility means you can plug it into a full size screen, keyboard, and mouse. Combine that with 5G and you have a smart device that's fun, but also has everything you need to work on the go. How do you think gaming is going to change when we're using mobile devices? I think that basically no one's ever going to read a newspaper on a train again. <laughs> We've seen it now with all the games that now you can suddenly get on your phone and you're like, this is just mind blowing. If you take that trajectory, it's going to be insane. It's going to be amazing. As a journalist now, you're expected to do a lot of different things, so the smartphone becomes so integral to that process. That zoom is really good. Say, for example, if you're watching like one of the big press conferences for E3, I want to be able to take the pictures of stuff that's going on because I still need to kind of keep social media going, but also I'm going to be taking notes on my phone at the same time. So split screen, you can do two things at once, quite literally, multitasking on your phone. That's pretty, pretty awesome. sick. I tell you what other thing I love is the fact that you can use the S Pen to basically control when you're taking pictures. So if you want to set up a shot far away, flip through the modes and take a picture. I like being able to point at things and make it do my bidding. So I'm loving that. Did you have a good time like coming down tonight? I mean, it's, it's a bit of an unusual night out, but it's so funny. You can see how much we can get well into it. I had a great time. Thank you very much. And also thank you to the guys from O2 and Samsung for sending us the Note 10 Plus. Make sure you hit the link in the description below if you'd like to get this device on a plan that suits you. Also hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, this has been New Phone. Who dis? Thank you very much. Game over.